Aries, this is your Astro Tarot reading for the month of September. And let me tell you, this is going to be a month where you get your work situation together and your love situation together. Oh, yes. So I am going to give you a general card reading for the month. And then I'm going to add in some clarity cards and see exactly what is coming your way for the month of September. You know, we have that uh, lunar eclipse that is going to be in your house of, of uh, spirituality and it's going to allow you to do a lot of self-improvement and do a lot of deep cleansing when it comes to ridding yourself of sabotage okay so here are your cards well you know you as you can see there's some money cards here so for the um for the new moon the new moon is going to be on the sixth and it's going to be in your house of work and there's going to be some indicators of there's going to be a chances of increasing your finances now of course these cards are indicating that money may have been type for you. You've been spending money or trying to pay off some bills. It is the end of the season. If you have children or helping, you know, family members with school clothes that you may have spent some money or you may just be, just be trying to clear up some bills in general. So this is going to indicate that that new moon on the six is going to allow you to make some changes within your work situation to improve your money. Let me get some clarity cards on this regarding that new moon on the six, that new moon on the, well, it's going to be in your house of work, which is the sixth house, but it arrives on the 2nd of September at the very top of the month. And let's see how that new moon on the 2nd is going to affect you. This new moon wants you to use more of your intuition, precognition. It says psychic abilities, future vision. What is your vision for your work situation? What is your vision for work? Because what is happening, there's going to be a chance, an opportunity to make more money. Let's just see. Let's get some more cards on this. How might you be able to make some more money around that new moon on the second? Now, Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to be joining the moon in your house of work. And that's going to give you some uh, more uh, you know, abilities to think, communicate, and try to get the information that you need to make your work situation better. So for that new moon on the 2nd and that Mercury moving into the sign of Virgo on the 9th, this is going to be a really good time. You're going to have to make some decisions. Some decision making is going to be necessary. Something is driving you, you know, making you not feel so well. You feeling as though your dreams are out of your hands is that you can't get a grip on them. And also you may have had some feelings that things are not going well for you. But let me just say these to you. These cards are excellent in terms of making a dream come true. You just have to have more momentum. You know, catch on to your dream. Refine your dream. You know, restructure your dream this has been a good time you let mercury retrograde is over and it allowed you to think about exactly what is happening and let me get some more clarity cards because on the fourth on the fourth mars your ruler is going to be entering into your house of home your house of home and let me just see what may happen with that when your ruler enters into your house of home on the fourth your house of home on the fourth it says here find a balance what's going on with your home situation aries is there something out of balance in your home situation? You may need to, you know, put more uh, energy into home improvement. Maybe do some uh, more uh, work with improving your relationships with family members. You know, you do have to be very careful with fights because, you know, Mars, you can be that Mars energy can be a little pushy. And it is in the sign of cancer on the 4th. And it enters into your house of family. And people may be overly sensitive. Let's just find out what might you have to be careful with when Mars enters into your house of home. Mars, your ruler. When it enters into your home situation on the fourth let's see okay well there could be a few you know uh, some confusion that you have to straighten out you know somebody could have a very you know defiant attitude somebody doesn't want to speak they don't want to talk about it you know the thing is is that they want you to leave them alone and that can cause a lot of problems because as we know aries you are not going to leave them alone you are very forceful energy you have a very forceful energy and you are a very forceful sign and you really want to take care of things and make sure that everything is in place when it comes to your home situation on the fourth when mars your ruler enters into your home situation on the fourth yes all right now we got that full moon i had mentioned that full moon that full moon lunar eclipse is going to be in your your house of spirituality and what is that going to allow you to do well let's just see what your reading is saying Let's just see what your reading is saying about that full moon lunar eclipse in that 12th house for you, that 12th house for you. First of all, the high priestess card indicates that you definitely are going to be spending time with yourself to do some psychic healing. 
you know, to find out psychically what is going on, what needs to be rid. Because the lunar eclipse is about letting go, time to let go of something. Also, some other things are going to be revealed to you. Things are going to be revealed to you. First of all, let me just say this. Let me just say this to you. Time to let things go. Things will be revealed. You may have to, you know, something that you've been stuck in, you're finally going to get unstuck because you're going to see the truth in it. That full moon, full moons always bring information. Let's just see what that full moon, what information that full moon can bring to you on the 19th, that full moon on the 19th, that full moon. Full moon, what is that full moon going to bring to you? That full moon, let's just see. New beginnings, absolutely. Time to let something go. Time to begin something new. Let me just tell you, one of the things you are going to find out is that your enemies are going to be revealed. Someone who has been um, not truthful to you, someone who's been trying to stab you in the back, Someone who's been sitting around waiting for you to fall, they are going to be revealed. That's what that full moon on the 19th is going to reveal to you. Let me just get some more cards on what might you see, what might come your way, what might be um, coming out of the darkness. First of all, money situation. I hope you didn't loan anybody any money. Or a money situation that you thought was lost forever or you're just never going to get that money back or you're wasting your time or you're wasting your energy is not going to yield, is not going to yield results. Not true. There's going to be something happening during that full moon on the 19th that's going to reveal some things. Maybe it's a new beginning regarding your money situation. New beginning regarding your money situation. I do want to tell you that also on the 22nd, Venus, Venus, the money planet, is going to be in your house of money management. And what does that mean for you? Venus in your house of money management. What does that mean for you? Venus in your house of money management. What can that bring to you, Aries? And let's just see what your cards are saying. Okay. All right. These are very interesting cards because as you can see, uh, you got money cards. The pentacle cards are always money cards. There's going to be more money. Actually, you could have two sources of income. You're going to balance your money better. You know, the things that you um, have, maybe you had to pay off those bills like we had mentioned before. Maybe you've had a few phone calls trying to get things straightened out because we're talking about money management. But Venus will bring more money your way. Let's get some clarity cards on what may happen on the 22nd when Venus, the, uh, the planet of money, income, attraction, magnetism, interest into your house of financial management. Let's see. It says, imagine. Imagine means what is it that you have been imagining, wanting, manifesting? This is a manifestation card. Let's get another card on that Venus entering into your house of money, my financial management, money management. Here we go. Oh, building blocks. This is a really good time for you to start looking for ways to invest your money, build blocks for the future, Aries, build blocks for the future. It is time for some other things to come your way. Good time to build money. This is an excellent time. One thing though, you, you listen, you can't get away from your love situation because on the 22nd, the sun is going to be entering into your, your love situation. What is going to be happening? What is going to be happening? When Venus, the planet of, no, the sun. Venus is going to enter into your house of money. But the sun is going to be entering into your house of love, your love sector, your romance sector. What is going to happen? Well, you know, the sun is always about growth. What is going to grow in your love situation? Okay, let me just say this to you. There's going to be more cooperation between you and another person when it comes to love. You know, there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, like phone calls. And let me just say this to you. You got to be really careful how you spend your energy. I, actually, I see more socializing. There's going to be a lot of choices in love for you this month. There's going to be a lot of choices in love for you. And as you can see, you're going to make some very strong decisions, some very powerful decisions when it comes to love. One thing, though, I have to tell you, you got this Ten of Pentacles. That is a reverse card. That is saying, make sure that you are not spending your resources spending your time and or just throwing your energy away on the wrong situation. But you need to have more clarity and conversations because the planet Mercury enters also into your house of love on the 26th. And let's get some clarity about that. 
And Mercury is about talking, finding understandings, getting a mental agreement with the person you're with, or finding out that the person you want to be with is not the person for you. So let's just see. Balance, Mercury on the, Mercury enters your house of love on the 26th. You got to balance things out. Standing firm, it says. Make sure you know exactly what's happening with this person that you are in love with, trying to build a relationship with. And it says here, angelic assistance. Angelic assistance means follow your intuition. You've had a lot of follow your intuition cards this month regarding situations, regarding your work situation, regarding making decisions, and definitely regarding your love situation. Yes, Aries, yes. So Aries, this has been your Astro Tarot reading for the month of September. And if you'd like to know what else is going on in your chart, you can contact me at KimAllen.com. And if you like my readings and you like these uh, clips, go ahead and like and subscribe. Go to KimAllen.com to schedule a reading and have a wonderful September. And let's not forget, fall is coming. Enjoy the last days of summer. Get out and be seen and feel the sun. Have a wonderful September.